Here we are folks, what we've done over the last couple of hours this afternoon, as you may well see, I have placed this hedge along the end of the layout by her. I know it's a red colour, but I'm going to paint it whitish before long. It's now stuck down with a little bit of cork in. And also you might well notice this hedge row virtually up to the platform over there. And we stuck that down as well with this caulking material. I shall now leave it go off and we shall, as I say, we shall paint the hedges white and we shall add it then to the wintry scene. What I've done by here, I've tidied up the fence as you may well see with this little bit of red hedgerow. What I shall do, I shall put a bit of PVA on it in the next few days and I shall paint it a greenish colour to match the hedgerow as you can see in the distance and on the side of the railway by here. We shall come back to that now in a couple of days. What I've done by here, I've tidied up the fence as you may well see with this little bit of red hedgerow. What I shall do, I shall put a bit of PVA on it in the next few days and I shall paint it a greenish colour to match the hedgerow as you can see in the distance and on the side of the railway by here. We shall come back to that now in a couple of days. What we've done by here also as well is put a bit of caulking material down by here and I've added a little bit of flock on there for now, tidied it up a little bit. Also you may well notice a little small piece of hedgerow here in red and a little bit of flock by there and what they've done as well, I bought the cottages by here now, placed a couple of cards along here for now just to hold this fence in, in place until this material goes off, the caulking. And then what I could do in the next few days then, I shall paint the fence brown. And as you may well notice in the background, there is a car, there's a couple of the bits and bobs here, just holding the fence in, in place for now until the caulking material goes off and then I shall paint this fence in brown as well. We shall come back to that now in a couple of days. And what I've done by here as well this afternoon, I have placed these two little bits of fence in by here. As you may well know, I made these out of coffee stirrers. Just use a little bit of super glue as all, cut them to length and just place them and stick them together. Quite a little simple job to do. I shall paint these as well now in the next couple of days. Here we are folks, here is the winter scene on the railway. What I've done, I've done a coat of white acrylic paint on the hedge in the foreground as you might see. I've done also a splash of paint as well on the hedge along the railway up towards the platform as well and I put a little touch of white as well on the top of this hedge by, uh, by the gate. Now it looks like I need to add a little bit more paint on this again. We shall come back to that in a couple of days. This is the hedge which I put in a couple of days ago. As you know it was a red colour. What I've done now I used a bit of green acrylic paint on it and it is looking not too bad now. And I've also added a little bit of flock down by there where the white post is. Here we are folks. We now have put the fence in place along the edge of the railway and we'll have to leave these little cars by the side for the minute as they're holding the thing in place for now while the glue goes off. In the background, as you may well notice, I put the fences there, I've coloured them up as well, and I put the little bridge cottage back as well for now. And as you may well notice, behind the back of the cottage and the pub, the fence I have now painted this morning. It is still a little bit wet for now. 
we shall leave that off now and we shall add a little bit more scenic around this area behind the back of the pub and the post office I plan to put another piece of fence along there we shall come back to you with that now in the next few days where the farmhouse scene is as you can see as you know I have placed a wall along here I had one piece of wall spare which I now just placed by here now with a bit of glue and what I've done as well I've added this fence along here they're a little bit sticky for now at the minute so I'll leave them set off and what I shall do then with the gap is between the end of the fence and the gate I shall put another piece of fence there in the next few days we shall come back to you soon with that hi folks here we are I had this today it is the new GWR 57 class it is called Tintagel Castle I shall take it out the box in a few minutes and we shall have a little browse about the loco here we now take a look at the rear end of the locomotive by right here as you may well see are the wipers for both the windows we have sprung loaded buffers we have the small hitch on here as you may well call it which is a nice yellowy colour on the front which goes well with the dark green and I do believe the cab lights up on this we shall have a look at that when we get it running now then we shall have a look at the front end of the local here we have the front end of the loco as you may well see also she has the windscreen wipers on this end the driver is in the cab by here also she has sprung loaded buffers as you may well see and she also has a snow plow down here and I do believe the cab lights all light up and the rear I do believe it could switch either one off as well I'll check that when I'm running the thing now when she got a nice colour yellow on the front by her as you can see with all the handrail around by her around the edge by her and the yellow goes rather well with this dark green along the side we shall give this a little run in a few minutes here we are, we are now going to give the DMU 105 a run around the track.
Here we are. Now we shall get Tin Taggle Castle and run around the track. As you may well notice, she has front and rear lights, and she also has cab lights as well.
UV outbox. What I've done over the last couple of days also, as you may well notice, this fence along where the class 25 and all the trucks are, I have now painted it the dark brown colour. And she's now setting off the layout really, which goes with the fencing on this side of the layout as well. There we go. And we shall give this little gem a run on the layout soon. Flying Scotsman.